even Scott will see. It will be a great service to him. I was able to prove nothing, really, but my work pointed to a high probability that the abilities of your kind stem from what Earthlings called gene therapy. Hmm. Not sure what that means, Professor. <sighs> yes, yes, of course. Uh, they modified genes to cure disease, provoked mutations. Modifications that got passed on to offspring as well. Look, in theory, at least. A theory I will never get to test now, I'm afraid. Being held here. Well, I, I suppose it's better this way. Undeniably incredible research, but research that could also, unfortunately, lead to the enslavement of your kind. Cast you as just another mutation to be contained. Afraid of what they don't know. And while I'm sure there was good intention in their creation of your mutation, no one can say what that reason is. Hmm. Can you keep this a secret, Professor? My lips are sealed. Now and forever. No one else will ever be privy to my research. Thank you, Professor. Take care. Isn't that Amelia's father? Wait, Charles Seeker. No, I have no idea. We made a... No, of course there's people up here. Surprise! Oh god. Are there people downstairs too? I can't actually tell. Oh my god. Fucking Andrew coming in with the fucking... Like, jump attacks. Always doing them. He's obsessed. Wait, what? Oh, he's fighting. Buzz, buzz. Oh, oh! Damn. There we go. Now we can run. And get down below. What is down below? Wait, is that the guy, the Technomancer we're seeking? He's probably the only prisoner held here. Is what I'd assume. Where the fuck? Oh. oh okay. It's just lower down. I got all confused for a minute there. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oops. Sorry. I didn't mean to. I mean, I think I got the... I, I told the ASC to arrest her or something. A very, very bad idea, clearly. Who's this? Talk to prisoner. I'm looking for an old man. He's from Aurora, and he used to be a techno... It's probably him. Well, you're looking for him in the wrong place. It's true that there's a guy with a funny way of speaking, but I can't believe that he's from Aurora. That sounds crazy. What would he be doing here? Who is that man? His name's George. An old guy, as you said, and the way he speaks sounds funny. Anyway, as if he were making fun of us with complicated words. He's a mechanic, though. Hmm. This could mean that he studied within the elite in a corporation that were a little... precious. Thank you. This guy? Are you George? Oh yeah, you must be. You're old. Hello, I'm looking for a man. A man in your age range. A technomancer. A technomancer? Here. <laughs> you must be mistaken, my boy. There is no technomancer here. The prisoners of war are sent elsewhere. Here we are taught to think like good citizens of abundance. It's probably that guy. Like the other people are a mutant. Oh, they are not a mutant. You are a mutant. Hello. What the I'm fuck? For a man? He doesn't mingle with men. Men avenge themselves upon them, so he stays away. All right, I understand. Goodbye. Okay. He might be in here. Oh, I can't get through. Oh no! No, I can't get through there. Hello. I'm looking for a prisoner. An old man from Aurora. He's a former Technomancer. There are no Technomancers here. He would be killed right away or sent to a camp as a prisoner of war. You're in the wrong camp. This here is a rehabilitation camp for deviants, dissenters. It's supposed to get us to think right again. Sorry, I don't see. Maybe he hid what he was. He used to live far from the corporation. Maybe they mistook him for a deviant, an outcast. 
he must have kept some of his mannerisms or accent from Aurora. That could be George. I've always thought that he had a funny way of talking. He works as a mechanic. He really looks burned out. But the funny thing is, I once heard him say he was barely 50. You'd think he was at least 20 years older. He must have had a really bad life, worse than ours. That could be him. Technomancy tends to age us faster. Thank you. Hmm. Only person I can think of that was old is the guy that's over here and he's like, no, no, not me. Yeah, it's that guy. It's gotta be. Who the fuck else could it be? And he speaks a lot different than everybody else. Hello. I'm looking for a man. A man in your age range. A technomancer. A technomancer. Yeah. It's gotta be him. Who the fuck else could it be? Unless, can I get below? Oh, through, through here? No, going through there would be pointless. It wouldn't lead to anything. I can't go over there. I don't see how this could be so difficult. There's only so many people here. Oh! Hello. I'm looking for an old man. A technomancer. Oh, you're knocking at the wrong door. There's no technomancer here. See, we're here to think in a politically correct way. Besides, you don't look like someone who's politically correct. Leave me alone. I don't want to go back into the room. What that old man did was pretty amazing. Didn't manage to let a single person know he was a technomancer or from a rival corporation. All while in a camp, I need to break you. I need to brainwash you. That's no ordinary man. No one would know how much willpower a technomancer needs to resist more than you. Yes, that's true. Hmm. Only person I can think is that guy that's like a techno. Oh, he popped up. He's the only one that's not like the others. I knew it was him to begin with. He's still facing us too. A technomancer here. How old are you? Seventy. Hmm. Fifty years old, but I had a hard life. Unfortunately, that leaves its mark. Like technomancy takes its toll as well. I don't know what you mean. I don't know anything about technomancy. You should talk to someone. Totally else. is. I've heard that mechanics isn't your forte. It's a good hideout, isn't it? The person who told you that I'm not good is simply bad mouthing me. If you say so. But this doesn't explain the way you speak. Polished for a mechanic. Listen, let's cut to the chase. Just let me look at your temples and that'll be it. I? You are the pain in the neck, you know that. Very well, I am the one you are looking for. And your relentless questioning puts me in jeopardy. <laughs> Get out of here. I specifically came to this camp in order to find you. You brought back a dome lost in the sands. A tablet that I'm unable to translate. Hmm. It is written in the settler's coded language. One they use for the important data. By all means, I can translate it, but this type of thing can take time, and I can't do it here. Mm -hmm. Come with us to Noctis. I am sure that you'll find a place to stay. Noctis? The city of the merchants. It's an independent city. There you won't have to fear Aurora or Abundance. Well then, I'll follow you. Oh, wait, what? Oh well. How was I supposed to free the prisoners? I don't see. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Take me back to the city. Glad to leave this place. Me too. I don't care where you take me. Anywhere is better than prison. It stank like fucking death in there. I don't know what to say. I feel ashamed. I'm from abundance. They do to people in there. Inhuman. To think that even Ophir looks like a paradise after seeing such a place. I am grateful, however, for we managed to save a few souls. Mm hmm. You okay, Nisha? No, not really. I don't want to talk about it right now. Oh. I get that the place could have triggered some bad memories. I'm sorry, Nisha. Definitely did. From that cutscene, at least. Hello. This is Patience, the technomancer you told me about. 
Ah, nice. Free of that shadow forsaken labor camp. Must have been a living hell. A sincere pleasure to meet you. Yes, nice to be free, but to be honest, I'm now stuck with no place to go. Camped and won't go back to Aurora. And abundance was always so accommodating. But I can't imagine the hospitality if they had known about my talents. Damn the ASC. And ever since my little desert refuge has been discovered, it's become a tad less cozy. Here I am. No roof. No real belongings. Only thing I have is this guy here who won't leave me alone uh. until I translate some ancient text for him. Well, I can't help with Mr. Mensa's needs for a translator, but I can give you a roof. It's the Noctis way, for we say, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Welcome to your new home, Patience. Oh, that's his name. There are some empty houses in the northern part of the city. I'm sure we can set you up there. Thank you. And a sincere pleasure to meet you, Dandolo. Yes. What? It takes a day? Oh, wait. Have you found out anything about... Zachariah. What's Scott. I'm looking for my friend Scott. He just... Mm, can't say that I have. He's not at the caravansary, though. Might have joined the caravan that... Just let me know if you hear anything. My pleasure. I'm pretty sure I already did that. I'm looking for my friend... Mm, can't... Might have joined the cap. Just let me know if you hear... My pleasure. Hey, what? Okay. There's no way we can find him, though. Is there? Wait a sec. Oh no, that's just to kill a shield toad. Huh. I'm very confused. Like, I haven't found... Am I supposed to speak with his informants? Oh, that might be it, actually. Yeah, come to think of it. There's this guy down here who might know because... Well, he would have seen Scott. I never actually thought about that. Fingers crossed, that's the correct thing. Yeah, this guy. Oh. Well, never mind. What about this guy? No. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna find Scott then. Like, nobody's help. Help ping. Uh, there's absolutely fuck all on the map too, so that's fantastic. How the hell am I going to get him to help then? Or how the hell am I going to find him? Um. Oh, Christ. It's not like it's given me an objective to say, like, wait ever so long for Dandolo to find out information. Fuck, I'll just go and sleep for two days. Then maybe we'll find out something. Maybe. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Come on. Alright, there we go. Right, sleep for two days. Oh, wait. Oh, really? I can only sleep for 15 hours? That works. That's an hour. Just re rest till noon. There you go, An another an hour and five, a day and five hours even. There we go. Perfect. Seven hours. Really? Rest until the morning. Boom. Wait for patience. I'm gonna go and speak with Dandolo again. If you don't have the info, then I have no fucking clue. And I'll just look it up, I guess. But I'll be ending the session once I've spoke with Dandolo. That's why I'll do it, uh, do it now. So it'll be over quick and painless. Tandolo, my friend! So, ah, where balls. Is he? Mutants spotted him near the shadow path. Come here, let me show you on the map. Why would he go there? Haven't the slightest. There's an abundance outpost there. Might have been taken there by force. From what my informants told me, he looked like he was in a precarious situation. Hmm. Thanks for the info, Dandolo. Oh, you won. There we go. So we did. Okay. I didn't mean to skip over the, like, information on your friend Scott. I thought he was just going to say, Zachariah, what can I do for you? But he didn't, so. <laughs> Whoops. Either way. Uh, that I can do next time. And that is what I'm going to do next time. Because that is the end of this session. So as always, 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, take care.